soba, karage, kare rice, delicious, affordable, and most of all, your ordinary, everyday food. Do you agree? Five years ago, I started experimenting eating these types of food to create a body like this and to compete in bodybuilding. Okay, now you may be wondering, Jay, aren't bodybuilders supposed to eat just chicken breasts and drink lots and lots of protein shakes? Well, not exactly. Today, I'd like to share with you that it's possible to enjoy eating these foods and still get the body that you want. I grew up in the Philippines, and as you can see, I'm a little bit on the skinny side. Growing up watching Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, and Van Damme movies, I started practicing a Korean martial arts called Harangdo. And of course, I needed to learn the Van Damme full split. Wanting my punches and my kicks to be powerful, I began lifting weights. After 15 years, I got my black belt and started teaching the art. But more than self-defense, I was more interested in helping people improve their health and get fit. And of course, to convince them, I needed to get fit myself. And not just fit, I wanted six-pack abs and big arms. So I started learning more about bodybuilding by asking a lot of bodybuilders. And their first advice was, Jay, if you want to get big, you have to eat a lot. Here's me with my wife when we're still dating. I got big all right, but not what I expected. I gained like 50 kilograms. Fast forward to 2008, I moved to Japan. Well, not as a bodybuilder, but as an IT project manager. And of course, the first thing I looked for was a gym. As I entered the gym, I was surprised to see Japanese bodybuilders aged in their 50s 60s, and even 70s, getting ready for a natural bodybuilding show. So I've asked myself, how is that possible? Minasan, Nihon no ocha wa nani ka haiterun desu ka? What's in your Japanese tea? So this really got me thinking. Here I am, half their age, and if they could do it, I could do it too. So after three years of intense training, I signed up for a bodybuilding show in 2011. Followed their advice of eating eight small meals a day, training for hours, and it worked. I got first place. I appeared in magazines and featured on TV. Wow, I felt like a Filipino star in Japan. And people started sending me messages. Jay, Jay, how did you do it? Could you train me? You know what? Finally, I'm starting to inspire people. So I started by coaching a friend. We went to the gym every day, but after a month, he ended up quitting. And I coached another friend. But same thing. After a month, he quit. But not only my friends, a lot of people quit too. Every year, we tell ourselves this year, I will do more exercises, lose weight, or improve my diet. Here's an example. Let's say you bought a stationary bike. You're so excited, right? You want to use it every day. But a couple of weeks, this happened. Looks familiar? <laughs> Don't worry, I've done it myself. So why did my friends quit? And why do people quit? Well, the answer sort of came to me when I competed again in 2012. That time, I got too busy with my job, got long hour workouts, and eating eight small meals a day were no longer possible. Even my boss told me, Jason, stop eating all the time in the office. The office is starting to smell like tuna and chicken. Plus, I got tired of eating the same things over and over again. It felt like bodybuilding was no longer my priority. And as a result, I got eliminated in the very first round of the competition. So the guy who eats, sleeps, and thinks nothing but bodybuilding became like everyone else. 
I realized the methods I've been using will not work for most of us. So, in the next four years, I started experimenting. I'm trying to discover ways to make fitness easier and enjoyable for everyone. Now, let me share with you the top three reasons why people quit and what we can do about it. Number one, life gets busy. You know, most people will tell you, now just spend less time watching TV, spend less time on social media, and you'll have time to go to the gym, right? But the truth is, once we get busy with our new job, start a family, new opportunities, it's not about we don't have time, but we'd rather spend those times on our new responsibilities that even if you work out, you'll be thinking about these things. Here's an example. Let's say you're in a gym and you're doing your bench press, right? Oh, I have to submit my report later or my boss will fire me. <laughs> you lose your focus, you stop enjoying your workout, you leave the gym and probably will not come back for some time. I realized that two hour workouts were no longer possible. I needed to adapt to shorter workouts. So in 2016, I started doing 30 minute workouts, doing only exercises that I know that will give me the best results, reducing my rest time, splitting my workouts to chest day, back day, leg day, and putting on my headphones so I can focus on that 30 minutes. And amazingly, I was still able to compete while doing my MBA, having a full-time job, spending more time with my three kids at the age of 40. And recently, I have discovered another way where we can save more time. Six months ago, most of us started doing work from home. So why not work out from home? At first, I thought it's hard to get motivated training at home and always tell everyone, if you are serious, go to the gym. But like everyone else, I had no choice. All the gyms were closed. And in a couple of months, I'm giving a TEDx talk about fitness. So I have to remain fit. But building a home gym is a challenge. First, houses in Japan are not so spacious. Second, how will I be able to convince my wife? And honestly, <laughs> convincing my wife is a bigger problem. So I started small. I approached her. Honey, I'll just buy some dumbbells. And after a week, I secretly brought in a bench. <laughs> And when she found out, I told her, um, look, look, it, it, it's foldable. And after the pandemic, we can store it inside the closet. But, you know, before I knew it, something amazing happened. She started working out with me and enjoyed it more than I did. So, yes, our lovely looking living room is now a hardcore home gym. Good thing I took that negotiation course at Globus University. Shorter workouts plus home gym, gave me back a lot of my time. Let's look at the second reason. Tired of eating the same things. I hear this all the time. I hate going on a diet. I remember one time in the gym, one of my Japanese friends approached me and asked me, Jason, tanoshi desu ka? I was surprised. It's a strange question, you know, to ask while working out. And then he told me, Jason, I know you have a great body, but are you enjoying your food? Oh, and you know what? He's right. I'm not. I'm sick and tired of eating the same things. And this is why rebound happens. People were deprived of their favorite foods for weeks, for months. And once they try it, it's hard to stop. It's a fact that we all love to eat. This is why I started eating at convenience stores, to prove that we can still enjoy delicious foods while losing weight. But there's a catch. Well, all you need to know is more about calories, and it's very simple. Let me show you. Calories consume and calories burn. As you can see here, it might take you more than two hours in a treadmill to burn a burger and a fries meal. And if you want to lose weight, just consume less calories than you normally would. 
or burn more calories. The more calories that you burn, the more you walk every day, the more you do your exercises, the more you can enjoy a variety of good food. Here's another example. Let's say tonight, you got invited to a party. Now stop saying no just because you're on a diet. All you have to do is eat less during the day, do some exercises, and you can enjoy the party. You can enjoy your wife's cooking. No more cheat days because you are cheating every day. And you know what? In Japan, there's a lot of selection for low-calorie food. You love ice cream? Then grab one of these. Not only it has 84 calories, but 5 grams of protein. So from today, make it a habit to check your calories and adopt your diet to fit your lifestyle. Now, let's look at the biggest reason why a lot of people quit. I don't see any results. Nothing is happening. So, you started working out and went for a diet. But after three months, you hardly see any changes and you give up. The question is, why wait three months to discover you might be doing something wrong? You know, as a project manager, I have adopted a methodology where I can discover quickly if I am building the right things. The methodology is called Agile. Agile uses the concept of build, measure, learn cycle, or also known as a feedback loop, where the goal is to turn uncertainties and assumptions into knowledge and learnings. It makes us realize our mistakes early on in the process to turn failures into success. As with Agile, don't wait for three months to see the results. As we build our body, experiment with different types of exercises, trying out a new diet, we must constantly measure our progress. Using a weighing scale, tape measure, and especially body fat measuring devices to get an immediate feedback so we can learn and adopt quickly. While experimenting with different exercises is important, doing it correctly should be your priority. Let's say you're doing a basic exercise like a barbell squats. How hard could this exercise be, right? From here, you just go down and up, down and up. But in reality, you have to arc your back. You have to know where to look, how deep you should go down. And some people, they put too much weight that they go down for like 10 inches. It is a complicated exercise. And doing it incorrectly will not only hinder your progress, but you'll also be prone to injuries. Hmm, no wonder people skip leg like days. It's vital to perform the exercises correctly. Ask help from instructors, get a coach, or watch a lot of YouTube videos. As with Agile, we must continuously improve and challenge ourselves. Albert Einstein once said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. This is same as working out. You see same people in the gym, use the same equipment, use the same five kilogram dumbbells and wonder why their body's not changing. Progress will motivate you and this will help you reach your goal faster. But the best thing about Agile, it sometimes allows you to fail. No results, not getting stronger, miss a couple of workouts, that's okay. Just evaluate why it happened. Maybe you lack sleep. Maybe you're not eating right. Or maybe stress. And just go back stronger the next day. In our fitness journey, I guarantee you that reaching your goal will never be a straight line. You will experience setbacks and changes happening all around you. But you will respond to those changes. And as you continue repeating the entire process, as you achieve those small goals, eventually, this will shatter your old beliefs and turn them into bigger visions. So, 
To those of you who are thinking of quitting, I leave you with a challenge. Stop using your stationary bikes as clothes hangers. And don't deprive yourselves of your favorite food to lose weight. Instead, be agile and start to adopt, fail, make a mistake, learn, improve, do it again, and do it better, and enjoy a lifetime of health and fitness. Thank you.